we're dog sitting today and that's that's how it works and so we we dog sit and try and create videos <laughs> so you can see Jeremy's nose in the corner of the camera um, oh my god this is very distracting but I really as I, I start moving to New South Wales and moving to Sydney I really wanted to take you through some reflections of my time in the small town of Yulaw North that I'm from. Hi everyone, so I've got some few friends with me today. But I really wanted to go through, I guess, some reflections that I've been having since um, I'm, I'll be leaving my hometown. <laughs> I can't leave the dog unattended. It is weed four times. And this one just spewed, so I had to clean that up. Just don't mind the dog snout in the frame. But really what I wanted to talk about was this sense of going home after you've been away. And moving back to my, my hometown after being away for four years, it was just that time to, I guess, be back where I was from and really do that work that I guess I hadn't done. You are not going anywhere. I don't trust you. Um, that I hadn't done when I lived here because I was just such a different person when I lived here. And, you know, that's, it doesn't mean I was not as good as I am now, but it was just, I was different. And, you know, for me, it was just about coming back here to really, oh God, I'm gonna have to be back. Okay, I knew I should have filmed this yesterday. But anyway, okay, so the house that I currently live in now, I, I'm living with my brother, but this was my childhood home. And I lived here for 21 years before I moved quickly, like briefly in, Someone's upset about that. Briefly in... <laughs> Briefly uh, with my parents before moving to Melbourne. And, you know, some of the things that are... Okay, Jeremy, you need to stop doing that. Sit. Stay there. And... <laughs> this is a disaster. Okay, good boy. Lay there. And... Yeah, for me, there was just a lot of things that I guess I hadn't have addressed when I lived here. I had quite a young relationship and... Bossy feels sorry for me. And I hadn't really overcome it. I just sort of left. Um, so anyway, when I, when I come back here, obviously, I'd had this side hustle and I quit my full-time job. That was one of the massive things that happened when I moved to Yulon North. And, you know, quitting my full-time job was one of those things that I knew I was going to do. But during a pandemic was also, you know, quite a challenge. But I found it was, it was quite... Excuse me. Hello. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it's going to take me ages to edit. I am... <laughs> Uh, oh, see that? It's a dog here. Yeah, I spent a lot of family time whilst being here and going on day trips and spending time with my family, um, especially my brother. Like, we haven't lived together for, for a while and um, it was really good to spend time with him and we watched lots of Netflix and, and things like that. And then I think one of the biggest transformations I'd had... I don't know what she's eating... So as I was saying, I think I'm just gonna get Bossy to do the talking. So we spent time in New Orleans. <laughs> we don't want Annie Mariah to leave. They're a churro. I mean, they're beautiful though. Aw, oh, thank you, Jeremy. Sitting nicely. No, okay. You sit up there. Bossy, what are you gonna do? On a mark. <laughs> sit down. Doesn't have to sit yet. 